Uricha Hashem, Shabbos. Hey, I get the native Shabbos. My name is Yossi Weiss. Today I'm preparing a delicious pan fried salt and pepper kegel. Crispy on the outside, yummy salt and peppery on the inside. Let me show you how to do this. Simple, easy. Might make a little mess, spritzes all over the place. Otherwise, it's a simple recipe. You'll cook your lakshan. I like to mix the noodles, which is like a medium noodle and a fine noodle. Actually, it's not my recipe. It's my sister Frumi's recipe that she got from Baba Wolf, I think, right? Which, you mix the lakshan. Why? Kaha, for no reason, okay? We're gonna add, of course, the salt, black pepper, I have a little white pepper. Guys, I was supposed to put everything back where I took it from. My daughter Mindy is very busy with this and she yelled at me the last time I didn't do it. So I'm sorry. Mindy, a pinch of sugar. My Tante Esther told me, whenever you put salt in, you always put a pinch of sugar in, no matter what. Always put a pinch of sugar in. So I had a pinch of sugar. Okay, now you get this mixed up. Let me give a little taste. This is when I taste it. I can't do the raw eggs thing. Mm. It's salty and it's peppery. Now I add the eggs. This looks about right. So always preheat your oil in a nice little frying pan. I think this is a nine inch frying pan. Stainless steel will come up beautiful. You don't put any oil into the, into the luxion. It's really simple. It really takes a few minutes, this whole thing, and it's so delicious, and it's so, so well worth it. And it's a perfect nash like Erev Shabbos to serve, and it's nice and crispy. I think my oil is a little hot. Feels just about right. And it sounds perfectly right. You leave this in a nice medium flame. You wanna keep it like this and you wanna cover it for around 20 to 25 minutes. We'll check later if it's nice and crispy. And after that, we'll have to flip it, which is the most fun part that we can do. Stick around and I'll see you in a second. 20 minutes later. Voila. Now you see, once the edges start browning, look, look at this, look at this, look how beautiful this is. Okay, so it didn't stick, it's beautiful. Now, is the fun part. I gotta flip it. Try to get a plate that's bigger than your pan. There's a few things you can do. You can start thinking how to do this. You go like this, like this. You can go like, you can think and think and think and like get ready in your head or you just go one, two, three, boom, done. Now look at that. Beauty. No thinking. One, two, three, boom. Right back in here. Look at that. Now we're not gonna cover this. I wanna try to keep it nice and crispy. And it's in a medium low flame. I love the crunchy. Oh, let me be, you can hear it. You hear that? That's what we're talking about. Okay, it's 15 minutes later. I'm super, super excited. Really excited to taste this. I'm gonna shut my fire. I'm gonna cut myself a little slice and let's see how this really tastes, okay? Boom! Beauty. Okay, look at that. Yeah, let's taste this. You hear that? Mm. Get back here, get back here. Ooh, it's hot. It's crispy. Look at that. Love the crisp. Mm. Wow. This is so good. It's hot. It's hot. You know what? Salt and pepper giggle. Let's add a little salt. Let's add a little pepper. It is salt and pepper giggle after all. 
All right. Now let's take another piece of the crispy part right here. I don't want to burn my tongue off. Mmm. Oh, it's hot. I like it with a little extra salt and pepper on top. This is delicious. Kevra, this is a winner. Try this. Let me know how it is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time around. Uri Hashem, se Shabbos.